It's happening all over the state, and eventually you could lose your power because of it. Thieves trying to make a quick buck are stripping power poles. And as Scott Daniels learned, one neighborhood still has severed wires dangling over their heads. He is live near Rio Grande in Griego. Scott? Yeah, Jessica, someone climbed up pole after pole along a one mile stretch of Rio Grande, even this one behind me, cutting wires for their copper. Neighbors are worried that all these hanging wires could be dangerous. Power pole after pole after pole. You can see dozens of the same loose wires dangling just feet above sidewalks and homes along Rio Grande. Our yard person was working right there, and he didn't even notice it. A neighbor noticed these. Since January of last year, PM has repaired 2,500 of these wires after thieves cut and stripped them for their copper, selling them for pennies on the dollar. These thefts in the North Valley were noticed two weeks ago, and the wires are still open, leaving the neighborhood vulnerable. Why are some wires still hanging off there? Yeah, they're, they're most likely the neutrals. PM spokesperson Valerie Smith says these wires are ground wires, and whoever cut them knew that a current only runs through them during storms. The neutral wires prevent a power outage when a lightning bolt hits the pole, but the thieves also cut some power lines. Those were repaired quickly. These thieves not only are um, putting their own lives at risk, they're putting the reliability of the system at risk. PM says none of the hanging lines in this neighborhood are live, but the electric company wants people to assume that any wire is dangerous, so stay away. We've had these off and on storms, and then to see an open wire like that, it's concerning. It's very concerning. PM says. Crews are expected to come out here within the next two weeks to fix these open neutral wires. And they said next time they're going to use a cheaper metal instead of copper to keep the thieves away. Back to you. Okay, Scott, PM says since the 2010, the cost of fixing all the damage thieves have done to utility lines has topped a million dollars.